E-scooter accident claims and legal proceedings in Colorado. In recent years, the surge in popularity of electric scooters, commonly referred to as e-scooters, has drastically altered the urban transportation landscape in Colorado. While providing an eco-conscious mode of travel for short distances, the prevalence of e-scooters has also brought about an increase in accidents involving these vehicles. Understanding e-scooter accidents E-scooter accidents can occur due to various factors. These may include reckless riding, failure to adhere to traffic rules, poor road conditions, and even equipment malfunctions. Additionally, the lack of dedicated e-scooter lanes can contribute to collisions with other vehicles or pedestrians. Determining liability in e-scooter accidents can be intricate. It may involve assessing the actions of the e-scooter rider, other motorists, and even the e-scooter company itself. Factors such as faulty equipment or insufficient maintenance by the company can play a significant role in establishing liability. Filing an e-scooter accident claim. Gathering evidence. Capturing detailed photographs of the accident scene and any injuries sustained can be pivotal in substantiating a claim. Additionally, preserving any relevant documents, such as medical records and police reports, can serve as crucial pieces of evidence. Eyewitness accounts can provide invaluable insight into the circumstances surrounding the accident. Statute of Limitations Understanding the time constraints for filing a claim is crucial. In Colorado, the statute of limitations for personal injury claims is generally two years from the date of the accident. If the accident involves a motor vehicle, the statute of limitations may extend to three years. Failing to initiate a claim within this period may result in forfeiture of your right to seek compensation. The legal process. Promptly reporting the accident to the police ensures an official record of the incident. Engaging with the e-scooter company's insurance provider requires diligence and clarity. Providing detailed information about the accident and your injuries is crucial for a fair assessment of your claim. Depending on the circumstances, your personal insurance coverage may come into play. Seeking legal representation. In complex cases or when facing resistance from insurers, seeking legal representation is often advisable. An experienced scooter accident attorney in Denver, Colorado can navigate the legal intricacies and advocate for your rights. Selecting an attorney with expertise in personal injury cases, particularly those involving e-scooter accidents, is paramount. Look for a track record of successful outcomes and a dedication to client advocacy. Settling or going to court. Negotiating a settlement. A comprehensive evaluation of damages is essential for negotiating a fair settlement. This includes medical expenses, lost wages, property damage, and non-economic factors such as pain and suffering. Approaching settlement negotiations with a well-researched and organized case can significantly influence the outcome. Taking the case to court. If negotiations fail to yield a satisfactory outcome, filing a lawsuit may be necessary. This formal legal action initiates the court process, where a judge and potentially a jury will hear the case. Preparing for trial involves presenting evidence, questioning witnesses, and making legal arguments. A skilled attorney will guide you through this process, ensuring your case is presented effectively. Conclusion In light of the e-scooter revolution in Colorado, comprehending the legal framework surrounding accidents involving these vehicles is of paramount importance. Navigating the claims process can be intricate, but armed with knowledge and experienced representation, individuals can seek rightful compensation for their injuries and losses. FAQs. What should I do immediately after an e-scooter accident? Seek medical attention for any injuries and report the incident to the local authorities. Can I file a claim if I was partially at fault for the accident? Colorado follows a modified comparative negligence rule. You may still be eligible for compensation, but it could be reduced based on your degree of fault. Is there a time limit for filing an e-scooter accident claim in Colorado? Yes, the statute of limitations for personal injury claims in Colorado is generally two years from the date of the accident. What types of damages can I claim in an e-scooter accident case? You may be eligible to claim medical expenses, lost wages, pain and suffering, and property damage. 
How much does it cost to hire a personal injury attorney for an e-scooter accident case? Many personal injury attorneys work on a contingency fee basis, meaning they only get paid if you win the case. Their fee is typically a percentage of the settlement, 